Hey, Blazer Tales. I have got another great one for you today. This is another first chapter Friday for us. We are going to read Before the Ever After by Jacqueline Woodson. Oh, this is such a good one. This is about a kid named ZJ whose dad plays um, in the NFL. And he is a great dad. And he's a great football player, MVP, Super Bowl winning champ. And then he starts coming home and having things go wrong, headaches, mood swings, things like that. Um, this is extremely short chapter. So I think I'm going to read two first chapter Fridays, um, two chapters out of this one because it's, they're so short. So let me share my screen. Give me a second. And then let me get rid of this. And then I'm going to play this on a loop. So here we go, because this is just like some some picture, just a few pictures from the book. So Jacqueline Woodson, Before the Ever After. This is the starts off part one in 1999. The title of this chapter is um, Memory Like a Movie. The memory goes like this. Ollie's got the ball and he's running across my yard when dad comes out of nowhere, soft tackles him to the ground. Then everyone is cheering and laughing because we didn't even know my dad was home. I thought you had a game, I said, grabbing him. It's half a hug, half a tackle, but the other guys, Daryl and Daniel, hop on too. And Ollie's escaped, so he jumps on top of all of us, jumping up on my dad. Yeah, Mr. J, Derry says, I thought we'd be watching you on TV tonight. Coach giving me a break, my daddy says. He climbs out from under, shaking us off like we're feathers, not boys. Oh, man, Derry says. Yeah, we all say, oh, man. Sometimes a player needs to rest, daddy says. He looks at each of, each of us for a long time. A strange look, like he's just now seeing us. Then he tosses the ball so far we can't even see it anymore. And my boys say, oh man, you threw it too far. Well, I'll go back behind the garage where we have a whole bunch of footballs waiting and ready for when my daddy sends us into the one of the abyss. Okay, so that's the first chapter. We're gonna read one more, even though we'll have a second chapter Friday, but this one, these are short. Everybody looking for a hero is the title of this one. Once when I was a little kid, this newscaster guy gave uh, gave me, uh, sorry, let me start that over. Once when I was a little kid, this newscaster guy asked me if my dad was my biggest hero. No, I said, my dad's just my dad. There was a crowd of newscasters circling around me, all of them with their microphones aimed at my face. Maybe I was nervous. I don't remember now. Maybe it was after his first Super Bowl win, his ring new and shining on his finger. Me, just a little kid, so the ring was this whole glittering world, gold and black and diamonds against my daddy's brown hand. I remember hearing the reporter say, listen to those fans, looks like everybody's found their next great hero. And now I'm thinking back to those times when the cold wind whipped around me and mom as we sat wrapped in blankets yelling dad's name so close to the game we could see the angry spit spraying from the other team's coaches the other team's coach's lip so close we could see the sweat on my daddy's neck and all the people around us cheering and all the people going around calling out his number calling out his name zachariah number 44 zachariah number 44 is your daddy your hero the newscaster asked me all these years later, just like that day, I know he's not my hero. He's my dad, which he, which means he's my every single thing. The next chapter is called Day After the Game, but I'm going to read that one. This is Before the Ever After. This is such an amazing book. Please don't miss it. Check it out and read it. Thanks, guys. Well, oh, let me stop sharing my screen real quick. Um, hang on a second. There we go. Okay, there you go. Bye, guys, and I'll see you in the next first, first chapter of Friday book.